some hay today and I thought I'd show you kind of how I go about doing that. As you can see I've got the, the three-point roller on. Uh, I'd like to uh, maybe in the future get something I can pull behind the, the mule and just to keep them firing up the tractor every time I want to roll a bell of hay. Uh, so basically there's a few special things I've got going on with this three-point roller that really help. Uh, one common issue with three-point rollers is as you can see, I've kind of got this spirit a little bit high, or uh, squeeze a little bit high, but I have no problem with uh, clearance on the ground. And I'll show you how I accomplish that here in just a second. The other thing is how to know which way to unroll it so it comes off in a continuous uh, sheet or what have you. Uh, some people don't care, they will just unroll it however it goes and you'll get clumps here and there. I like to unroll it continuous. And then I'll just do some short strips uh, and kind of keep them pretty tight. And the cows are just right there in one bunch. And I get good manure distribution because of that. And one way you can do it is, I've heard some people uh, describe it as uh, petting a cat. <laughs> so if you go, if I go this way, and I always divide the bell in half. And I look I look at the top top half of that bell. So going this way, it's smooth. I don't, I don't get any resistance. If I go back this way, I get all those stems poking me in my hand. I've done this enough now that I can I can tell just by looking at the bell for the most part. I don't have to get off and look at it, except if it's if it's dark and I can't see it real good, I might have to get off and look. But so I'll divide the bell in half. You want those stems facing the way that you want to unroll the bell. That's how I look at it. And, and nine times out of ten, I mean that that'll get you. It'll accomplish exactly what you need to do as far as unrolling in a continuous sheet. And so, uh, so let me show you what I got going on on the top link here that lets me get this ground clearance. Let's see if you can see this good or not. Now this does require two remotes. Uh, first, of course, one remote is going to be the hydraulic squeeze that squeezes your arms together to, to squeeze the bell. And the other, as you can see here, is I have a hydraulic top link. And I originally had this set up for uh, just like a box blade to be able to, to tilt my box blade on the go so that I could cut more or drag more, uh, just depending on the situation, without having to get off and manually adjust that top link just to do something a little bit different. But this also, that really helps on this uh, three-point unroller. Because I can come in and squeeze the bell, and if I don't get it exactly perfect, then you know, I still have plenty of ground clearance to accomplish what I need to do. So with that said, and uh, see the cows, they're, they're ready. So we got here and do some unrolling, and I'll kind of show you. Hopefully I can get a good angle and kind of show you what's going on. Stick around.
So, it's a little loud, I apologize. I may just put some background music on.